Joining us now is someone who witnessed this shooting in person, Christine Peacher. She's a trustee from Moraine Township, and that includes Highland Park. And good morning, and thank you for joining us. My first question just is, how are you doing? It's been less than 24 hours since you witnessed gunfire. Are you okay? Good morning, and thank you for leading with that question. As you can imagine, I uh, and myself and, and our community as a whole is feeling fragile and feeling vulnerable and still reeling from what just took place in our in our quaint little town. It's it's still very surreal. Just tell me what your plan was for the fourth. Uh, were you did you stake out some places? Were you I know you're um, an elected official there. Were you in the parade? You know, how, how did you expect the fourth of July to go? I definitely did not expect the 4th of July to go this way, as you can imagine. I am a, an elected township uh, trustee, uh, our local social services arm of government. And so I was marching with our supervisor, Ann Bassey, along with about 10 other volunteers. We were handing out little Frisbees, as, as many people were, candy and things to the, to the kids. Um, so we were lined up. We were excited. The day felt really um, energetic. People were happy, as you can, as you've heard, as many other towns. This was our first parade in two years, so people were excited to see our neighbors. And so, as we lined up and started right at 10 a.m., um, we had just about 10 minutes into the parade, rounded the corner from St. John's onto Central Avenue, approaching the grandstand area where much of the shooting took place. And that's um, that's when we realized something had really, really gone wrong. Now we keep showing this video of cell phone video of there were kids, they were marching, they're all in blue, and then they just take off running. Um, what was that moment like for you when, you, you know, we've heard shock and I didn't know what was going on. Did you feel that way, that you didn't know quite what was going on and then everyone takes, starts running? That's exactly it. I was in, I think, denial. I thought it was part of the parade. I thought it was a group of um, army generals, and, and typically I've seen this at other parades too, where you see the men with the big muskets and they stop in front of the grandstand and, and they do their little um, kind of honor. And so my mind first thought of that. I thought, oh, this must be part of the parade. This is what they're, this is what they're doing. This is, this is how they're presenting to the, to the judges and whatnot. Um, and so I really didn't, for the first, what felt like um, maybe a minute or two, did not think it was real and thought it was just all part of, of um, the day's festivities. And then, of course, as people started running, and you, you mentioned the, the kids in blue, that was our um, high school marching band. And so they started running, everybody else started running. And um, shortly after that, we actually left where we were in the parade, and I was with my supervisor, and we made our way back to our township office. And in doing so, we had to walk right through what ne what then became the crime scene. And um, that's the moment I knew this was not part of the parade at all. This was a real live mass shooting, and unfortunately witnessed the carnage right in front of us. We just it have had I mean, awful descriptions of things happening. You know, a father had to put his children in dumpsters because he thought that that's where they might be safe. People trying to break down the doors of businesses, just looking for shelter from the gunfire anywhere they could find. Sadly, though, this is not the first uh, mass shooting in America. It's not even, you know, it's it's not even the the worst thing that's ever happened in this country as far as gun violence goes. And you've probably seen news reports of things like this. You've lived it now. How did it compare to things that you have seen that have been reported similarly that have happened in other places in this country? I would say it was worse to see it with my own eyes, to hear the gunfire with my own ears, to witness the panic and the chaos firsthand is worse than seeing it on TV or being reported. And unfortunately now Highland Park is, is part of this long list of communities who have been affected by gunfire um, and, and in, innocent lives have been lost. And, and we're now part of that um, so-called group. And, and it's not an honor that any of us wanna have, but it was definitely worse to, to witness firsthand, no, no doubt. Christine Peacher, she is an elected trustee of Moraine Township. She was also there yesterday in Highland Park. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.